Hello internet people, in this video I'll explain why in my opinion GoDaddy might not be the best nor the cheapest option when you're buying a domain name, even if you have hosting with them. Alright, I'm going to compare GoDaddy only to Namecheap because I started using Namecheap recently and I'm really happy with them and I'm actually just trying to transfer all my domains to them. I'm sure there are other great domain registrars, but Namecheap is one of the most known. I'm going to list four reasons why I choose Namecheap over GoDaddy. Okay, make it quick because my horse is getting tired. Well, first of all, the price. In the long run, Namecheap will be cheaper, especially if you pick more conventional top-level domains such as .com, .net, or common country-specific domains. So let's take a look at the prices. These prices that you will see right now might be changed but when i was recording them this is what i saw these also don't include vat so at godaddy you will pay just above 12 dollars for first year for com domain and with namecheap it's just under nine dollars for first year and the years after with godaddy you pay just over 18 dollars for com domain and with namecheap it's just under 11 dollars so there's a big difference there when I saw how much I can save, this is what I told my girlfriend. And people are very sensitive. But that's not all. Let's take a look what are the differences in free features and paid features. In terms of features, they both offer pretty similar. But the difference is in the price. Basically, there are two essential features to consider. First is who is privacy. Whois is basically a large database collecting information about the domain registration and who has registered them. If you don't have Whois protection, it means all your personal data will be publicly available, including your address and phone number. Not so cool, right? So companies offer privacy protection by adding their details instead of yours when registering the domain. For example, here's one of my domains. As you can see, the information here is about Namecheap, their address, their all their stuff. If you don't have this protection, this is where your details would actually show up. Arnie, how do you protect your personal information? Well, let's take a look at the cost. With GoDaddy, this is $8 per year. And with Namecheap? It's free. It's free. It's free real estate. Well, that's convenient. Second feature is to add SSL certificate to your domain. Now keep in mind that your hosting provider can do this too. And if you're planning to redirect your domain from Namecheap to another hosting, it's better to do the SSL certificate with the hosting provider. But just to compare, here are the prices. GoDaddy charges $64 for first year and Namecheap $4. I, I think you can get the picture here. It's also a similar story with other features such as email. The price difference is huge. And this was my reaction when I saw the difference. <laughs> What the hell are you? Now, in terms of customer support, in general, they both seem to suck. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a problem in the industry. There are only few hosting providers or domain registrars that have great reviews, which include Hostpapa and SiteGround. Those guys have like five stars. Pretty much the rest, they fall somewhere between one and three. So you can expect customer service calls like this. Hi, I need some help. Seems my server is down. I need some money. Immediately. But, but I haven't even said what's the problem. And why do you have that music in the background? As you can see on your screen now, they both got two stars on Trustpilot. And I noticed that people have had major problems with the domain renewal with Namecheap. I haven't experienced this myself yet. But it seems you need to let them know about two or three months in advance if you want to renew the domain. I guess you do this by just enabling the auto renewal, but otherwise they don't seem to renew the domain and it's a hassle to get it back. And in terms of user experience, I think they are both decent. I've used GoDaddy for some time, so I'm used to their dashboard, um, but Namecheap has a better focus on, on domains, so it's easier to navigate and change things for your domains. And I think Namecheap in general, the design is just a bit more fresh. Another small thing, in terms of company values, Namecheap is privately owned and they openly support open internet. They were also part of the fight over the internet regulation, the SOPA, SOPA, 
which they strongly opposed, whereas GoDaddy is owned by a big holding company and they are excellent at marketing, but it comes at a cost. And that's usually customers and the prices are higher. Arnie, what are your values? I'm the party pooper. In conclusion, in my opinion, Namecheap is the winner for pretty much anyone that needs a domain. One exception is if you are a complete beginner and you only plan to set up one domain and you are using GoDaddy as a hosting provider, then it's just easier to do it with them. Even if it costs a bit more, but it's just less hassle. Once you get comfortable with web things, you can always transfer your domain to Namecheap or any other domain provider. But in general, I would recommend Namecheap to host all your domain registrations. You'll have a central place and then you can always point them to your hosting provider. My name is Robert and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. Next, check out how you can sign up with Namecheap by clicking on the first video. If you haven't yet decided which hosting provider to choose from, click on the second video where I compare four hosting providers with each other. Whoosh.